Hi, this is Debbie Boyer, and in this video segment, we're going to talk about the website tinyurl.com. I know you've seen web addresses that are so long, there's no way that an adult or a child would be able to type in and get it correct. And an example of this might be the one from Canyon ISD, and you can see that this is just huge. So when we click on it and highlight it, we can right click and copy. So all I did was highlight the web address, right click and copy. And then we can come over to the web address tinyurl.com and we're going to right click and paste this long URL right into the website and then it says make a tiny URL. So we're going to click on that and it says can we access your clipboard and I'm going to say yes and it automatically creates a tiny URL that I can then use to go to this website. So I would give the kids the address tinyurl.com forward slash BST7567. I'm going to copy that right quick and show you that really all it does is redirect you to the page. So if I come into a new web page and I'm going to right click and paste that URL click on enter and when I do it's going to take me right to the page and you'll notice the web address didn't change to the tiny URL it's still the same one that Canyon has displayed but it gets us there in a quicker more efficient manner when we're back at tinyurl.com if I come to the main page again there is a place where I can right click and and paste that long address in there but then it can also ask me what do you want to name this it could be very specific we could say tinyurl.com 12 days of Christmas tinyurl.com math problems and if no one else has used that short um, extension that you're adding then the web address would contain that word or that information so this is just a quick easy way thought it might be helpful with dealing with students with iPads um, BYOT their own devices and thought it might be a helpful tool if you have any questions uh, you know how to reach me otherwise have a great day